Hi, this is Shelley from phototrippingamerica.com. Today we're starting a new video series to teach you how to easily create your very own website. To do that, we have several steps we need to go through. And the first one is getting you some website hosting. Now, I'm going to suggest Bluehost just because I've used several hosting services. And I've found that the customer service at Bluehost can't be beat. And the prices are very reasonable as well. You can get to Bluehost through the link that you'll see on the video, or if you're on my website at phototrippingamerica.com, if you'll scroll down on most any page except for the first one, on the right side you'll see this big blue square with hosting services. Click that link and it'll take you straight to the Bluehost website. Okay, we're on the Bluehost homepage. Let's click the green Get Started Now button, and that will take us to three different plans that Bluehost has available. For today's purposes, we're just going to pick the basic plan and we'll talk about the price here in just a second. But right now, I hope that you have had the time to think about what you wanna name your website because the prices for hosting also include a free domain name. So let's see if we can type in a domain name that might still be available. Okay, I've typed in spinachmakesyoustrong.com. Let me suggest here that if at all possible, you end your domain name with a .com suffix. As you can see here, there are lots of other options and they're coming out with new ones every day. But .com is by far the easiest for your readers to remember and it'll make it easier for them to find your website. Let's see if spinachmakesyoustrong.com is available. Let's hit the next button. Well, it is. So now Bluehost will set up an account for you. You'll need to fill out your first and last name, a business name if you'd like, the country, street address, city, state, and zip, your phone number, as well as your email address. And after you've done that, we'll scroll down and look at the package information. Okay, under the package information, the account plan we selected was the basic. And as you can see here, they give you an option to pay for one year, a total of two years, or a total of three years at quite a discount. Uh, one year would cost you $71.40. Two years in advance would cost you $118.80. And three years would cost you $124.20, which is quite a savings. It's only $6 difference between two years and three years. So if you have the money available, I would strongly suggest go ahead and paying for the 36 months because it's quite a savings overall. After you've selected um, whether you'd like to pay for a year, two, or three years of service, then go down here and you can make sure that these boxes of add-ons are unselected. Um, if you decide in the future that you're going to need some of these extra services, you can always go back into your account of Bluehost and add them. So let's scroll down to the bottom and you'll find the payment information where you can enter your credit card number, the expiration date, and the CVV2 code, which is the three digit code on the back of most cards. You'll want to read the terms of service and then check this box and submit. Well, you've just completed the first step in building your own website. Bluehost will be sending you an email shortly with your logon information. Hang on to that because you're going to need that in this next video where we teach you how to set up WordPress so that you can start building your website. Thanks for joining us today. And for more instruction, please check our website at www.phototrippingamerica.com.